My name is Rita Slatter from Singapore. During my last trip uh, to Naju, I took some pictures in the chapel on the eve of the anniversary of the oil, of oil. I was shocked to see a man figure inside Mother Mary's casing. It is not a reflection as the side of Mother Mary's casing is made of wood. What happened was pilgrims from Singapore were invited to go up to the altar as Mother Ma Mary was crying. I went up first and started to take pictures. The rest of the pilgrims followed. I didn't look at the photos in Naju, but had a look at them when I arrived home in Singapore. I was so shocked to see a man with a pointy nose praying next to Mother Mary in the casing. I had to leave Australia two days later as my daughter Nicole had another relapse of bipolar, which is a mental illness. My husband couldn't go with me as he had to work in another country. Whenever Nicole is hospitalized, I will get very stressed, sad, and cries a lot. Because Mother Mary was still with me, and with God's grace, after my Naju pilgrimage, I was very calm and peaceful. When I visited my daughter in hospital, the first thing she showed me was a picture of St. John Paul II. She had ripped it out of a magazine. It was amazing because I didn't mention about the photos I took in Naju, nor showed her the photo. When I saw the picture, it looked like the man that I took in the, the photo of in the chapel. It is no coincidence that Nicole showed me the picture must be guided by the Holy Spirit. She showed me a book of reflection the next day with a picture of, Pope, of St. John Paul II given to her by a friend. On the third day, I found another picture of St. John Paul II in her handbag, three confirmation that it is John Paul, St. John Paul II. He has dedicated his whole life to Mother Mary, and I'm very sure he is still praying for the approval of Naju, as the photo showed. He is praying to Mother Mary and asking for her intercession. Thank you and God bless.